So here's my highly professional uh, seat lev. I've been modifying Tesla Model 3 seats for some time since I got my Tesla at the end of February of this year, 2022. The stock seats, oops, a little bit changed. The stock seat, um, the foam inside looks like this, okay? The, um, the seat pan that it sits in looks like this. It's really hard. Um, it's very difficult to move these springs. They just move a tiny bit, even under a lot of pressure. So you're not gonna get a lot of uh, suspension from these springs. But this is a common build they do today. In the old days, they used to use real spring suspensions, not anymore. Okay, so the problem was that um, this seat, when, in, when installed properly, this foam is uh, thinner as it goes over this metal, and the metal is unforgiving. Okay, so then as you sit down inside, it fully compresses in the metal and other stops for your hips and for your bones. That's a problem for a larger person. And um, so what I came up with was modifications. Now what I'm doing is testing. So here's a single um, seat pad. This is how it's built. It goes like this and then the cover, the cover would, would go on top, okay? The cover not adding anything to the seat comfort, really. Um, so what we can do is look at how little this moves. Virtually, the moment you sit in it, you've already fully compressed. I could do the old button seat test. It's hard as a rock. There is absolutely no giving. So that could be a problem for some people. Now, if you, um, essentially double up the foam. So what I'm doing is I cut a piece to fit. I can get the cover over it, and I modified um, the bottom. So I use the modified bottom. And then I'll put this on. So now, in the place we sit, our seat bones here, we've got essentially twice, 200% times the amount of suspension that comes with the stock seat. The old button seat test, I can feel it. I really have give. I don't, I'm not bottoming out. I don't feel the bottom out. And I have a completed product here where I've properly installed the uh, pull downs, the seams are in, everything's in. For the, the modification I made to get rid of uh, the painful sides. Do a button seat test, and there's two things I'm looking for. Do I feel any lumps or bumps, anything annoying me, and do I get the softness and the room? It achieved all, all of the goals. I have no restrictions on the sides whatsoever. I can stretch out, I can fit, fit in the seat, even though my Hips are rather large, um, and and I'm heavy. I still feel suspension, so I consider this a, a true success. Thank you for watching.